English for Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. You can learn English as a second language. Page 60, Exercise 5, Snapshot. What do you have for breakfast? Listen and practice. The United States. Cereal with milk. Fresh fruit. Orange juice. Coffee. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs. Beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. Listen and repeat. In the USA, in the United States, what do they have for breakfast? They eat cereal with milk, fresh fruit, orange juice, coffee. In Japan, what do they eat? They eat for breakfast, they have fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea for breakfast. In Mexico, they eat eggs, beans, tortillas, tortillas, pancake, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. This is coffee with milk. What do you have for breakfast? Check through the foods. For breakfast, we have eggs, coffee with milk. For breakfast in Egypt, we have milk, milk with tea. We have also beans, eggplant, smashed eggplant. fried eggplants that's all look at the picture here what do you see fish a very 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 big fish lemon, salad, and tomatoes around the fish, like lettuce, two young ladies, they're talking about food, they're talking, they're talking, they're talking about food, fish for breakfast, listen and practice, listen and repeat. Page 61, exercise 6, conversation. Fish for breakfast? Listen and practice. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Well... I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. What are Sarah and Kimiko talking about? They're talking about breakfast, having breakfast together. 
Sarah, let's have breakfast together. On Sunday, let's eat breakfast on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. Come to my home. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. So, Kemuko is from Japan. Really? What do you have? What do you make? What do you eat for breakfast? What do you cook? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. That's wonderful. That's very nice. Sometimes we have salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. I never, I don't eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. New or new. Now the first question, what are Sarah and Chemical talking about? They're talking about having breakfast together. What about Chemical? Where is Chemical from? Kemiko is from Japan. Kemiko is from Japan. What does she eat on Sundays? What does she eat on Sundays for breakfast? For breakfast, Kemiko has a Japanese style breakfast. A Japanese style breakfast. What does she have? What does she do? She has fish, rice, and soup. Fish, rice, and soup. And sometimes salad. Fish, rice, soup, and salad. What do they drink? They drink green tea. For Japanese breakfast, fish, rice, soup, and green salad. Then they drink green tea. Will Sarah accept the invitation? Will Sarah have breakfast with Kimiko? Yes. Why? Because she likes to try new things. Page 61, exercise 7, grammar focus. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Adverbs of frequency. Frequency, repetition, to repeat. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes I hardly ever, I never eat breakfast. I, subject, always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never, adverb. These are adverbs of frequency. How many times do you do this thing? All right. Now it's time for the grammar. And today's grammar is adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency. An adverb we use before the verb, before the action. And why do we use the adverb of frequency? Well, to indicate the frequency of an action, of the verb. So, for example, in the question, do you ever eat eggs for breakfast? We use the adverb ever to ask about the frequency of the verb, in this case, eat. So the question about the frequency 
of this action is, do you ever eat eggs for breakfast? Now, remember, the adverb, ever, is only for the question about frequency. And in the answer, we use other adverbs of frequency. For 100% of the time, we use the adverb always, always. Less than always, we say usually, usually, usually. Less than usually, we say often, often, often. Less than often, sometimes, sometimes. Less than sometimes, hardly ever, hardly ever, hardly ever. And zero percent of the time, we say never. Never. Okay, so for example, the question, do you ever eat eggs for breakfast? My answer can be, I always eat eggs for breakfast. Or, I sometimes eat eggs for breakfast. Or maybe, I never eat eggs for breakfast. Now, remember, the adverb of frequency is always before the verb before the main action. The exception to this rule is the adverb sometimes. With the adverb sometimes, we can use it at the beginning of the sentence. For example, sometimes I eat eggs for breakfast. And that's okay. Also, we can use sometimes at the end of the sentence. For example, I eat eggs for breakfast sometimes. So, sometimes is a very flexible adverb of frequency. The other adverbs of frequency are always before the verb and after the subject. All right. Very good. A. Put the adverbs in the correct places, then practice with a partner. In this exercise, you will put the, the adverb, this means usually, often, ever, sometimes, hardly ever, you put them where? In the beginning of the sentence, at the end of the sentence, or in the middle? And where, where in the sentence, you put the adverbs between the subject and the verb. You put the adverbs between the subject and the verb. One minute, try to answer. A. What do you have for breakfast, usually? You and you is the subject have the verb. What do you, what do you usually have for breakfast? Between subject and the verb. What do you usually have for breakfast? Well, I have coffee and cereal. Use often. Often between subject and the verb. I often have, I often have coffee I often have coffee. Ever. Question with ever. Do you? Do you ever? Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Sometimes. I have breakfast at my desk. I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Another answer. Sometimes I have breakfast at my desk. So for sometimes, I sometimes have breakfast at my desk, or sometimes I have breakfast at my desk, usually. Do you eat rice for breakfast? Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? No. I hardly ever have rice. 
No, I hardly ever have rice. So I put hardly ever between the subject I and the verb have. No, I hardly ever have rice. Again, the answers. No, I hardly ever have rice. Hardly ever between I and have. Number B, and scramble the sentences. These sentences are not in order. They are not in a range. Please arrange them. One, I have breakfast on never weekends. I never, I never have breakfast on weekends. Two, work, I, snacks, eat, at, hardly ever. Number two, I, I hardly ever eat snacks at work. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Three. Three. Eat. Four. Pasta. Dinner. Sometimes I. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Four. Have. I. Dinner. With. Often. Family. My. I. We start with the subject. I often, the verb then, I often have. I often have dinner with my family. With my family. I often have dinner with my family. Again, the answers. Number one, I never have breakfast on weekends. Two, I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Three, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. 4. I often have dinner with my family. Exercise number 8. Exercise number 8. Listening. Really? Never. Now, you look at this picture, what do you see? What do you see? A young man, a young lady, cups of coffee, water, they are choosing something. They are reading. Where are they? They're in a restaurant. They are in a restaurant. They're ordering a meal. What do they order? How often do they eat these foods? These foods like pasta, hamburgers, fish, eggs, broccoli. Often, sometimes, or never. Listen and check through the answers. Page 62, exercise 8. Listening. Really? Never? Part A. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? Listen and check often. Sometimes or never. So what looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Pasta, often. Hamburgers, hamburgers, never. Fish, fish, sometimes. Eggs, sometimes. Broccoli, 
often. Again, the answers: pasta, often; hamburgers, never; fish, sometimes; eggs, sometimes; broccoli, often. B. Group work. Do you ever eat the foods in part A? Tell your classmates. Tell your friends. I often eat pasta. Really? I never eat pasta. Well, I usually eat pasta. I sometimes eat pasta. Make a conversation. I always eat fish. What about you? Really? I I usually eat fish. I usually eat fish for lunch, but I often eat eggs for breakfast. I never eat broccoli for breakfast. Exercise number nine: meal time habits. In this exercise. For speaking, you add two questions about meal time habits to the chart: a habit, a custom. Then ask two people the questions, write their names, and complete the chart. One: Do you always eat breakfast? Yes, I do. Do you eat breakfast, Muhammad? Yes, I do. So you write the name of your friends. What time do you usually eat lunch? At what time do you eat lunch, Ibrahim? I eat lunch at ten o'clock. At what time do you eat lunch, Muhammad? I eat lunch at three o'clock. Do you ever eat cereal for dinner? Yes, I do. Do you ever eat for cereal for dinner, Ibrahim? No, I don't. Four. Do you ever go to a restaurant for breakfast? Never. No, I never go for breakfast to a restaurant. I never go to a restaurant for breakfast. Ahmed. Do you ever go to a restaurant for breakfast? Ali, no, never. What's something you never eat for lunch? I never eat. I never eat rice for lunch. Safe. What's something you never eat for lunch? I never eat cheese for lunch. What do you usually drink with dinner? Muhammad, I usually drink coffee. Ali, what do you usually drink with dinner, Ali? I usually drink a cup of tea. Do you always eat meat, Muhammad? Yes, I do. I always eat meat. Do you always eat meat, Ali? No, I don't. I am vegetarian. I am vegetarian. I don't like to eat meat. Are you vegetarian, Ibrahim? No, I'm not. I am not vegetarian. I like to eat fish, chicken, and meat. Are you vegetarian, Shayma? No, I'm not. I like to eat fish.
B. Class activity. Tell your classmates about your partner's meal time habits. Manuel hardly ever eats breakfast, but he always eats lunch and dinner. Manuel Name, name, like Ahmed Muhammad. Tell your friends, tell the class about your friends. Exercise number 12. Eating for good luck. Do you think that people eat for good luck or bad luck? Listen and tell us. Page 63, exercise 11, reading, eating for good luck. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines and oranges. Tangerine sounds like luck, and orange sounds like wealth in the Mandarin language. In Greece, and some other Mediterranean countries, people eat pomegranates. Pomegranates bring wealth in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. Eating for good luck. On New Year's Day, many people eat special food certain foods for good luck in the new year number one this is tangerines and oranges so some chinese people eat tangerines and oranges why tangerine sound like luck and orange sound like wealth in the mandarin language on New Year's Day, on the first day of the New Year, on the Christmas, what do the Chinese people eat? They eat tangerines and oranges. Why? Because tangerine sounds like luck, it's luck. And orange sounds like wealth, wealth a lot of money, money. In the Mandarin language, orange means wealth. A lot of money, money in the Mandarin language. This is pomegranates. Pomegranates. Who eats pomegranates? In Greece and some other Mediterranean countries, Mediterranean countries, countries that have a look, countries with the Mediterranean Sea. People eat pomegranates. Pomegranates bring wealth in the new year. So, who eats pomegranates? Greece, people in Greece and some other Mediterranean countries. Why? They think that it brings Wealth in the new year. It brings a lot of money. What do you see? Grapes. 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 Miss Payne and some Latin American countries. Latin American countries, the countries of Latin America, such as Argentina, Brazil. Miss Spain in Argentina and Brazil, some people eat 12 grapes. At midnight, midnight at 12 o'clock at night on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, this is the night before the 1st of January. The night, the last night of the 31 of December. This is like the Christmas. One grape for good luck in each month of the New Year. They eat 12 grapes for 12 months to be happy all the time. So what do people eat in Spain and Latin America? They eat 12 grapes at midnight. For what? For good luck. At the end of the year in Sweden, people eat rice pudding with an almond inside. 
everyone tries to find the almond for good luck in the new year. On New Year's Day in South Korea, people eat duck goop, soup with rice cakes, for strength and health in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with collard greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollar bills. So at the end of the year in Sweden, Sweden country, a country in Europe, people eat rice bonding, rice bonding. A New Year's Day in South Korea, what do people eat? They eat duck gook, duck gook. What's duck gook? Soup with rice cakes. They think this is for strength, strength to be strong, G silent, strength and health in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black beard peas, black eyed peas. They eat black, this is black eyed beers, and rice with colored greens. The black eyed peas are like coins. They are like coins, this is money. That made of metal. And the greens, okay, and the green ones, this is the green ones, they mean what? They mean dollars bells, like dollars, the green dollar. So, this is all of them they eat for, for money, and to be rich. For the new year, to be rich and to have a lot of money. A. Read the article, then correct these sentences. These sentences are wrong. So you try to correct them. You will read the sentences. You will read, of course, the passage or the reading passage. And then you correct these sentences. Reading answers. 1. In Mandarin, the word tangerine Sounds like wealth? No, sounds like luck. So number one, the correction, luck. Number two, Greek eat. Greeks eat pomegranates. Pomegranates brings health. No, it brings wealth. Wealth. Three. People in Spain eat 12 grapes, one grape for good luck in each, in each hour of the day? No, in each month of the day. 4. Swedish people eat rice bottling with money in the side? No. 5. Korean eat soup with chocolate cake? No, they eat soup with rice cakes. For strength and health. Some Americans eat black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are like dollar bells? No, they are not like dollar bells. They are like coins. Dollar bells? No, coins. One, luck. This is of wealth. Two, wealth. We erase health. Three months of the year, four, five, rice cakes, six, coins. B. Group work. Do you eat anything special on New Year's Day for good luck? In Egypt, for good luck, we have celebration of New Year's Day. We eat cakes, desserts, for good luck, and for having happy life. Do you do anything special to your classmates? We go to the movies, we eat desserts, 
we eat cakes, we have fun. It's a wonderful day. Wish you all good luck. That's the end of unit of unit nine, part two. Homework number one: you should study by heart. Number two: you should answer three pages of the workbook interchange into the workbook unit nine, part two. Number three: listen and repeat. Number four: watch the video unit nine interchange intro. Wish you all good luck. Thanks God. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.